Hey, yo, what's up guys, Zaid here. Today I wanted to give you a couple of tips on how I usually cut weight. I know a lot of people haven't seen me, especially on this channel, um, really cut huge amount of weight, but I have done it in the past. And there's a lot of little things that compoundedly make the whole process of losing weight a lot easier. Obviously, if you're doing this for solemnly just cutting weight, which is what I'm gonna be doing, these are the steps that I take. If I was doing this whilst trying to, I guess, keep a relative amount of mass on, like just more mass than actually cutting, then that would be a completely different story. But for me, for cutting right now, as you guys know, I've been doing Muay Thai, I've consistently been running, getting ready for my marathons and all that, and I've been doing Olympic lifting, so there's a little bit of power that's involved in all that. That has been definitely been taken into consideration whilst making this cut happen. So now that I've put on all that mass, now that I've, I've collected all that little fat over time, and especially right now with the holiday season here, I'm guilty, guilty, guilty as charged. A couple of tamales were headed my way and I couldn't say no. So now it's time to get a really good cut on. It's It already started happening actually about a week ago, so just letting you know. So without further ado, these are some of the things that help me whilst I'm in a cut. And the first thing that always helps me out is more protein, guys. Definitely include more protein on your food. It definitely helps to keep you satiated because whilst you're cutting weight, you're also trying to reduce gradually, and notice how I said gradually, the amount of calories that you consume over a period of time, whether that be over a week, over a month, that will usually help you get to your base level, but definitely, Protein consuming more forms of protein leaner cuts of protein will definitely help you get to that lower body fat a lot quicker And keep satiated and that will definitely help you adhere to your diet Which is very very important if you're feeling hungry all the time and you start craving things that'll probably suck <laughs> And that's one of the one of the main reasons in my opinion why people tend to cheat on their diets or tend to veer away from their ultimate goal, which is to lose weight, and, and that's because they're hungry all the time, you know? So keeping satiated, high amounts of protein would really, really help, and that's what's helped me in the past, and I've been quite successful with it. So number two, now that we've adhered to a good amount of protein, drinking becomes an issue for a lot of people, and one of the best things that I do, I think actually even on the daily, is to that satiation at bay all the time, is I like to drink sparkling water. So number two, sparkling water. Try to consume something with little or no sweeteners. In my opinion, that's what I try to do. I get the Costco brand, the sparkling water from Costco. It works great, it's, it's cheap, you know? Or if you can find a better deal, go for it. But I try to consume something with little to no flavoring at all. I don't even like Stevia on mine. I know a lot of people do, they use the Stevia, and that's perfectly fine. If it works for you, more power to you. But for me, I like, like it as simple as possible. And number three, along with that, is coffee. It's no surprise that I drink a bunch of coffee. You guys have probably seen some of my videos um, on the, the coffee run, which is due for an update, so I'll update that soon. I like coffee. I like coffee quite a bit, and actually, I'm drinking some coffee right now. It really helps out with satiation, and it helps me to kind of always have something in my hand, even if it's just a small amount, even if I'm just, like, I bought this like four hours ago, and I'm still, kind of moving it around it really helps me have something with me i know a lot of people it's like the whole cigarette issue i've never smoked uh, i've never smoked anything in my life but a lot i know a lot of people tend to go grab something they just have to have something in their hands and once they do have something in their hands they they're perfectly fine so that's why a lot of people i have a couple of friends that have smoked in the past and they said that once they grab something a, a couple of them even grab just pencils they don't want to go for that cigarette so in this case just grabbing the coffee, the actual cup, just holding it or moving it around with me um, deters me from grabbing anything else. I'm not a big soda fan or anything like that, but every now and then I'll make my own kombucha and that definitely can, um, can start adding the calories on for the day. So tip number three is coffee, obviously black. Now, carbs. Carbs are a very important part and this is where a lot of people defer. And just like I mentioned, this is something that works for me and this is how I handle my carbs. I, me specific, Zaid, <laughs> how I handle my carbs. So number four is carbs and the kinds of carbs that I keep depends totally on my cut. If I am keeping a more bulky cut, a more, um, you know, I'm not aggressively trying to lose weight like um, you know, let's say a kilogram per week is not that aggressive. That's actually kind of expected. Anything above one kilogram is aggressive for me. That's when I go ahead and include fruit. I replace, 
I tend to keep the, 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 the simpler carbs in. So such as fruits, like grapefruit, strawberries, I like to keep, keep strawberries. Raspberries are pretty good. Blackberries are pretty good. Some white rice and puffed up white rice. Those are some of the things that I usually keep in and I tend to not veer away from that. Oh, and oats. Oats is something that helps me out a lot and I really, really measure these all the time. That's the one way I can keep track of them. So I am very rigorous with what I do in regards to carbs. So like I said, tip number four is um, if I'm doing a more aggressive cut, I'll go with fruits such as berries, blackberries, raspberries, rice, oatmeal, and that's about it. I keep it simple. Um, less options for me in that regards in carb land is better. And now the final two I think are super important in my opinion because these usually tend to help anybody adhere to any diet and that is keeping the sweets in. And what do I mean by sweets is you got to have something that is very palatable, especially if you're trying to keep this as a lifestyle because that's the goal. When I, when I think about dieting is like how can you keep this as a lifestyle in the most prolonged way possible. One of the things that I do um, to kind of you know, just get over the cravings if these do come around is have some kind of a sweet option. And one of those options is protein ice cream. I just discovered protein ice cream not too long ago actually, and it was great. It's super easy to make. It's basically just ice with protein powder, a little bit of water, or if you're okay with it, a little bit of almond milk, a little bit of any kind of liquid that you are okay with that fits into your diet, then it's perfectly fine. And if you want to add a little bit more to that, you know, I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a peanut butter fiend. So <laughs> I try to keep away from peanut butter as much as possible just because of all the fat. And once again, on the current cut that we're doing, we don't want to have, we don't need that amount of fat. We're cutting the fat. So don't add any extra fat, you know? I like to add to that even if you want to have that peanut butter flavor is I'll add that PB2, which is basically peanut butter powder but they've extracted like 90% of the fat. So it's great. It gives you that peanut butter flavor with whatever protein you have, whatever protein powder, and makes it taste great, makes you adhere. And again, I wouldn't use this every day, but it's just when I have those sweet tooths, that good. And it's super simple, guys. It's really, you just put everything in a blender, add very little small amounts of liquid to it, and then that makes it. I'll make a separate video if you guys want on that, but super easy. And then on that same note, this is another one that I have never used before, but I, I know a lot of people that have had some great success with this, and that is Jello, the, the low calorie Jello. Depending on the brand, you, it can go as five um, calories per serving, I believe, and some are 10 calories per serving, but Jello is a great way of keeping some flavor in the diet at, and at the same time being able to keep you full because Jello is just a bunch of collagen with some flavoring and yes jello is not the best sometimes it has like a bunch of little artificial sweeteners and a couple of other things it is that versus keeping you heavy or keeping you overweight and in my opinion i would definitely pick the jello over being overweight especially if you definitely definitely need to cut some weight you know so that is another way to definitely keep some weight off of you and keep you satiated at the same time and keeping the sweets if none of those work for, out for you and you know or you have some extra carbs left for you that you didn't spend them a way i like to spend them is with dark chocolate like really really dark chocolate i'm talking about like 93 percent and above um dark chocolate because not only is that good like does it have a good amount of magnesium in it but it also helps me sleep a lot better i'm not sure why but it, it satiates me or it satiates some kind of a really I wouldn't even say sweet tooth that I have, more of a bitter tooth that I have. So that has helped me out in the past a lot, but it has to be super bitter chocolate. And also it takes away all my cravings. Um, once I eat that, it's like, ugh, it's dead. So that one's an underestimated one. And actually dark, dark chocolate has been proven to actually help with some fat burning. So yeah. So just to wrap everything up, 
Two extra pro tips that I'm gonna leave right here with for you guys. First one, condiments are king. I've said this in many of my videos, condiments will keep you adhering to any diet. If you're just eating ground beef all the time, you know, one day you can do salt, the other day you can do salt and pepper and you know, add a little bit of onion powder. Walden Farm sells a lot of good dressings on it. Yeah, sure, once again, they have a couple of added extra things, but if you are trying to do something that is super, super important to you, or just wanna get to that weight once in your life or just drop a massive amount of weight and you said you know what i have the next six months and i'm gonna do it this is my goal that might just be the thing that you need add the spice to your life people they will keep you in the race for longer i can assure you that and last but not least buy a scale guys buy a freaking scale i have a scale look I got a scale right here it is essential a lot of us tend to think that we eat a lot less than we actually do and then once you start weighing things out you start realizing holy crap I think I might have been eating a lot a bit <laughs> more than I thought I was overeating so definitely go ahead and weigh out your things it'll help you out tremendously guys I've known in the past I found out that I <laughs> <laughs> had overeaten no way more than I thought I did so it has helped me once again regauge I have a good like I see a pound of meat and I know like I don't have to weigh it out anymore or I've got I get pretty close I'm like oh that's like a pound of meat and it ends up being like um, 0.90 of a pound you know I get I, I've gotten pretty good but I sometimes definitely over time need to recalibrate so right now I'm weighing everything that I'm doing I'm counting macros I'm counting calories like crazy just until I can dial it in and once I get to my desired weight then I can chillax a little bit off of that but still keeping in mind that everything has to be relative to what it's been to be able to maintain the desired weight that I wanna hit. But if this video was helpful guys, you guys know what to do, definitely go ahead and subscribe, press that like button, and if you have any comments, any suggestions, something that you guys have found that has worked for you, definitely leave it in the comment section below. I would love to read about it. And as always guys, say out. Peace. Oh yeah, update on the fat loss pretty soon. So definitely stick around guys.